I hear that little opening jingle in my sleep all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that guy, and I, I perk up. I'm like, oh, God. Uh, making the A-list. Ten years ago, Allie High, an art teacher at the time at Chugiak High School, got an apple pie hand-delivered to her classroom from her coworker, and she wasn't sure why. Yeah, and the next year, another pie coming from the same guy, Colin Baxter, all around Thanksgiving, and with a simple message, thank you. She soon learned, like you will as well, those pies were filled with more than just apples. This story is about a guy, his pies, and this lady. I'm Allie High. I was the art teacher at Chugiak High School. This is Colin Baxter. He's... 84. He's retired, busy, and funny, too. I make pies, and... Someone asked if I was a one-trick pony, and I said nay. And he likes recognizing good people. He has his A-listers. And he started calling me his A-lister, and I just kind of laughed at that. And sometimes there aren't a lot of apples, but I have my A-list. He used to work with Allie. He saw she was an A-lister. Because she is an excellent teacher, and she treats people uh, she treats them like they're special. Because there aren't that many people that just give you things out of the blue. I mean, not in my life anyway. But all that changed for Allie. Probably pushing 10. Years ago, when she got her first apple pie right around Thanksgiving. I hauled it into her classroom. I do remember that. I, I was floored. Um, really surprised, yes. <laughs> and this is the apple pie he makes from his apples. He handpicks from his Montana family farm each year. Of course, the fun part also is making the pies and uh, and deciding who they're going to go to. You have to understand, Colin takes his pie rolls seriously. Every apple that I, that I peel, I think of the people that are going to, that it's going to, and what they mean to me and what they mean to other people around the community. The story is a simple one. The farm that fed him and his family as a kid. To me, they mean something because of my grandparents and my parents. The apples themselves, he says, are nothing special. That they're heirloom apples. These are old trees. The magic and, is in the meaning. Many times I told my mom I'm really lucky, and she'd always say, no, son, you're fortunate. So when his basket was full, he knew what he had to do. I've been blessed with time. Time and the gift of giving. You find out somebody needs a bit of a lift in their life, and you give it to them, no holes barred just because a Montana apple pie in Alaska. Especially ones made with love. This year, Colin made... I've made up to 93 pies. Making people's day with a pie. But around Thanksgiving, it seems fitting. Trying not to cry, it seems really great to me to be acknowledged and what he does in his life. Wow. And hopefully they will it'll lift their spirits for minutes, days, a week, whatever, and uh, think that in life, they have something special to offer other people. Allie made Collins' apple pie A-list. I just knew that he was a special person, but I didn't really have the whole story. And that's... People was wondering why, and, and the why is that they're just being appreciated. For the all good news. What a guy. Yeah, this is yes. the 10th year of uh, getting a pie, of uh, her getting a pie. And get this, Allie is no longer teaching, so Colin drove out to Eagle River to continue the Thanksgiving tradition of appreciating people on his A-list and hand-delivered her that 10th pie. That is amazing. If you're curious, that family farm located in Fairview, Montana, and Colin and his daughter Colleen go out there every year together to pick those apples and tidy up the place. I hear they bring them back uh, even in their suitcases to hand-deliver them. And to make an apple pie is a lot of work. You have to peel them. Yeah. Yeah. You have to slice them, the whole thing, the crust. It's, there's a lot that goes into that. Yeah, and he's 84, and you saw those pictures from this year. He's on ladders. Yeah. I'd be like, Grandpa, Picking what are you himself. doing? Anyway, great guy. All right, here's Jerika Duncan with what's coming up at 5.